Hello guys, welcome to my coding lab. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to try try to create a series of tutorial on HTML and basically trying to cover the most basic stuff about HTML. And to do that, we're gonna need a couple of tools, uh, which is a text editor and a web browser. Uh, your text editor could be any type of text editor that you have already have in your system right now. It could be your Microsoft Word or just the good old simple Notepad. And there's a few text editors available online, and throughout this series of tutorial, I'm going to use a text editor called Visual Studio Code. I'll provide the link in the description down below, and there's also a couple more of text editor which is quite popular and I've used it before, uh, which is Notepad++ and also Atom.io. I'll provide both of these links in the description down below as well, uh, but I'm going to use this most of the time, Visual Studio Code, for this series of tutorial. Uh, uh, the advantage of using this text editor is it provides syntax highlighting. Basically, it highlights uh, the different parts of the code and use different color code for different parts of your code. And also, it provides uh, code prediction. Basically, it predicts the code that you're about to type, you're about to type and it's, it auto complete it. And you just hit tab or you just hit enter and, out, and it will auto complete it for you. Now, but for today, I'm just going to use uh, the good old simple notepad. Now let's just dive straight into HTML. Now what is HTML? So HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It is the language of the web. It is the language of the internet. It is the language of the web. It is it is what a web page is written in. Now a typical HTML web page will start with a doc type, uh, which stands for document type. And the document type is, of course, HTML. And uh, there's a HTML. And it's start with HTML, open HTML element, and close HTML element. Now, every everything, every code of the web page will be within this HTML element. Now, a HTML element starts with uh, an angle bracket. Right, an angle bracket, and it ends with a forward slash, right? The left angle bracket, the element name, HTML, and the right angle bracket, and close with a left angle bracket, followed by a forward slash, and the name of the element, and right angle bracket, right? So this is how a HTML uh, page element is start and ends with. And within this HTML element tag, uh, there's a head element, element as usual we're gonna start with the start tag and end the, the element tag with a forward slash of the element name which is head and also there's the body element we'll open the body element tag and close the body element tag with a forward slash and body now uh, the head part section of the HTML is where the information about the web page store, like the title and also about ways how the browser should display the web page. Now, uh, for this series of tutorial, we, we're just going to place a title, but there's other things that you can place in the head element, for example, like JavaScript and CSS, but we're not going to cover that in this series of tutorial. I might another whole series about that later on but for now we're just going to add the title of the web page as usual we're going we're gonna to type the start the element and close the element with forward slash now uh, you can name the title whatever you want um, I'm going to name the title of this web page and this is my first web page uh, and Let's, let's give it a try. Let's try to save this first. Okay. So I'm going to save as I'm going to save it as index.html. Now you can save this file anyway. It could be in your document folder, or your desktop folder, or any any way that you like. Just remember where, where you save it. Now save save it as I'm going to save it as index.html. You can name your file whatever you like, but make sure you end it with .html and down below. Make sure you, you select all files. 
save and I'm gonna go ahead and click save I'm gonna replace this and so let's open the file and to open the file you just go ahead to the location that you save the file and drag the file select the file and drag. I'm just gonna drag it into my browser here okay so now as you can see this is the title of the web page which I've typed before this is my first web page now I'm just gonna add this I'm just gonna hit Control S to save and I'm gonna hit F5 to refresh the page as you can see the title has changed right so let's add a few more things now uh, uh, this body element what, what you do in this uh, whatever you type in this body element will be displayed in here in the web page in your browser page okay so let's let's, let's try try the random text okay? let's hit draw s and in your browser hit control 5 to refresh it see the text appear now but we wouldn't want to just type a random text we want to type a proper text with proper format now let's try let's hit enter here and let's try to create a a, a title for this web page now there's a few uh, ways to do that i'm i'm going to use a, a head tag a header tag uh, a head one a header one and i'm going to close it forward slash i've got it okay, so let's say hello world well, let's hit twice and save it and let's go back to our browser, refresh our browser there you go, okay, so header 1 so there's a few other header uh, this, the header is available from 1 until 6 and each time go from 1 going to 6 the header will be become smaller and smaller and smaller okay, let's give it a try let's copy this and I'm going to paste it below I'm going to change the hash1 to hash2 let's see how it does so I'm going to hit control S to save and go back to browser, my browser and I'm going to hit F5 for refresh and as you can see the hash2 is smaller than the hash1 so let's try for hash3 let's see for hash3 I'm going to change this to hash3 I'm going to change it to hash3 I'm going to hit control S for save and I'm going to refresh my browser and as you can see hash3 is smaller than hash2 and hash2 is smaller than hash1 and it is, it is the same for hash4, hash5 and hash6 now what if you want to type a text in, in your browser now we can use an element called paragraph and you, you don't need to type paragraph you just type p okay, open p open element p and close element p and you can type anything that you want in this in this uh, paragraph element now I'm just, I'm just gonna type this is my first web page web page I'm gonna hit device to save and I'm gonna refresh my uh, website and as you can see it appear here this is my web page now let's stop here and in the next video I'm gonna show you how to format this text and how to align it center and how to add image okay. now, so we're gonna stop here so thank you for watching my coding lay remember to subscribe and hit the like button if you like it and i'm signing out for now see you in the next video thank you bye bye